Hey guys, Dan and Rose from half Ass Travelers. And we're coming to you not so live from the 2024 Florida RV Shoop, Shooper, Shooper Show. <laughs> Florida RV Super Show in Tampa, Florida. And as you can see, we're as half assed as ever. Uh, one of our subscribers, John Drenning, asked us to review a travel trailer, and here it is. This is the 2024 Grand Design Imagine AIM 14 MS. Uh, show price here, $27,995. Let's take a look inside. Let's start up front with this absolutely massive kitchen. Look at all this counter space, hon. Can you believe this? Uh, two, uh, two burner, two gas burners. We've got the microwave under the counter. Come on up here, hon. You can see this storage. Ample storage. Wow, there's a lot of storage. The storage goes right to here, so it doesn't go back into the corner. But look at this. And the countertop continues all the way to the window back here. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of space. It's got a medium-sized fridge, separate freezer. This is a Norcold fridge, uh, which is supposed to be one of the better refrigerators. I kind of like that you've got the separate uh, stools, you can, you can stow those, and the work area here, or whatever you, you need to be doing, like a desk or whatever you need. The television's over top. You've got this smallish couch here for watching the TV. Let's see how comfy it is. Ah, it's, it's relatively comfy. It's a little hard, um, but that's because this isn't just a couch. Behind me is a Murphy bed. I can see that when we came in. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, let's try to release it. Okay, here we go. So yes, so the bed folds down. I'm not going to put it all the way down, but that couch goes down. And there's a, if you look up over top rows, you'll see that there's a huge window over the bed. Really nice design. It only folds up halfway. So if you have bedding that you want to leave the bed made, it's very easy to do that. That's a really positive in the design. And in the back, we've got the bathroom. It's a standard size art for the RV bath. You've got the plastic toilet. You've got the rectangular, get the rectangular shower. And you've got the regular, a lot of storage under the sink and over top. And there's also some additional storage back here. That's pretty deep. And this is, must be the control panel, the compass connect. And the Dometic, this is for the water heater. And I'm not really sure what this is for, this, this uh, rack, but what that's gonna be, what that's supposed to hold. We really like the amount of storage that's in here. We really like the simplicity. There's a lot of space to move around. Uh, and we always like to see the Murphy bed. We think it's a real space saver and it allows you to keep the bed made. No hassles of breaking the bed down every morning and then making it again every night. One of the features we really like about this trailer is this outdoor grill. How fun is this? You've got, you're at the campground, you're setting up your chairs, you're hanging out. You don't need to keep going inside to the kitchen. You got it right here. Cook them up. Here on the side, you've got a 12 volt outlet. You've got a spray port for a hose. And also it looks like the water fill. Let's take a look around the other side. You know, for an 18 foot trailer, they pack a lot of stuff inside. There's plenty of room in there, but they've got a lot of stuff on the outside as well. Take a look at this compartment. You've got the control center for your RV. You've got your battery disconnects. You've got a 12 volt uh, outlet. You've got an outdoor shower plug. You've got all your, your tank fills, and you also have a place that you can run the wiring directly down the side so it's not sticking out and you can close the hatch. You've also got additional storage here in the slide, under the bed, and under the couch. A lot of storage space in here. That's gotta be, that's gotta be almost five feet. Up front, you've got your water heater, your access panels, the hose connection, venting. You've got your liquid propane, of course, on the tongue. Looks like two tanks and your battery box right up here on the tongue as well. It's an electric jack stand on the hitch. Pretty nice, compact, looks pretty simple. 
In the back, you've got your 30 amp shore power plug and you've got your ladder access up onto the roof. All right, up in here, you've got your black and gray tank release and you've got hand jacks. No electric jacks on this unit, but the hand jacks should do the job for a unit this size. Well, we hope you enjoyed that walkthrough of the Imagine. If you have a unit you want us to look at, just tell us in the comments and we'll be sure to do so, right, hon? Imagine that. Oh boy, that was bad. <laughs>